Hi, it's Vicki with Condi Systems Tech Support. I'm in CorelDRAW X6. CorelDRAW works only with PC, so this is a Windows 7 operating system 64-bit, and I'm going to demonstrate how to create a color palette, an RGB color palette in particular, with CorelDRAW X6, one of the latest versions of Corel out on the market. The first thing you want to do is have the application open. Uh, color palettes help us to do color matching, also helps us to sublimate a chart, refer to a color, enter that value so that we can do spot color um, as needed or as rec or required by our clients. So if you are looking for a particular green, it always helps to look to your chart, your sublimated chart, find that green, and know that when you select that green, this is how it's going to look the end result after sublimation. So color palettes are also good for making sure that your color is correct in your color settings when we set you up here at Condi or for any other reasons that you may need to verify color. So let's get started on creating a color palette. It's quite easy. It doesn't take but about five minutes or less. So I, what I have here is a Corel Draw X6 already open. Um, I'm going to click a File, New. This gives me a blank document. What I want to make sure of is that I have an RGB color palette prepared. So I'm going to click Window come down to color palette, hold my cursor over it. I can see all the color palettes I have selected here. So to create an RGB color palette or any other color palette, make sure, and we're going to use RGB, that you have it checked or selected in this drop down. Okay? So I have it selected. Now what I'm ready to do is click on tools, come down to macros, M-A-C-R-O-S, and then I want to go to Run Macro. This opens a new dialog box from here where it says Macro In. Click my drop down. Left click on All Standard Projects. This provides me a list with uh, some options in it. I'm choosing Corel Macros, Corel Color Swatch. Once I have that selected, I'm ready to left click on Run. As you can see, RGB is pulling in from where we selected the RGB color palette under Window. If you drop down, if you have any other color palettes selected, you'll see them as well. We're running an RGB color palette. Second thing I want to do here is go down to spacing. Spacing is how far apart my color blocks will be. I don't want my spacing to be 20, so I'm going to enter the value of 1 or 0. Some people like a little space in between their blocks. I'm going to choose 1. If it doesn't matter, choose 0. I'm going to click OK. And that's going to generate a color palette. As you can see, uh, this is page 2 of 2 pages of color. Okay, So I'm on page 2. It always shows me the last page. So what I want to do is combine these colors. Or should I say combine, condense this to one page. So I'm going to Take my left arrow, my, I'm sorry, my left click on my mouse, hold down over here to the far left corner, and just drag the things that I want to select. I really don't want this right here, or I can actually just delete this right here. Now what I can do is do a Control A, which highlights everything, which is Control All. Then I can do a Control C to copy it, and I'm going to jump over to page one. I'm going to do from my keyboard a control V which is paste and as you can see I'm still I, I'm, my color is still in a bounding box here where I can just center it over this uh, midpoint here you can see a slight X there center my cursor over that hold my left click down and just kind of drag it centering it uh, and I use the center line as a guideline okay Control Z will undo. Now what I'm ready to do is do a Control A again, select everything. I want to condense this to an 8.5 by 11 document, which is what my document size is, so that I can fit it on something. If your document's bigger, you can also enlarge it however you want to do it, but you want to make sure that you create this image so that whatever your product is, you're going to sublimate this on, whether it be metal, 
that it fits onto that metal or mouse pad or that it's the correct size okay once I have it placed where I want it I can tweak it in maybe closer to the edge by using my my arrow keys on my keyboard you have up down right and left arrows which are in between your numeric pad and your actual keyboard where your letters are on the left so you can use those arrows to just shift things around okay so I like to add these uh, tips and tricks in here for those people that don't know or maybe are new to Corel so that they know uh, maybe show them some things that they can do as well using this application alright so once I have it placed where I want it I'll just kinda left click outside now what I'm ready to do is print this as you can see it's kinda shrunk back everything's reduced so I want to bring this to fit page so I'm gonna come up here left click on my drop down click to fit now I can see my color palette um, a little closer and it fits my document size so that I can get a better view of what's happening if I actually want to zoom in and see what these values are I can use my mouse key I'm sorry my mouse wheel and just put my cursor maybe over the color I want to zoom in on and rest there and then use my my mouse wheel leaving my cursor on that yellow and zoom in and see what those values are okay or if I want to look closer at this hot pink hold my mouse key over it and I can zoom in on that as well okay if I want to get back to my document size come here to fit okay so now I'm back to the where I want to be alright and that's how you create a color palette and how you use the color palette using spot color these values uh, after sublimation is exactly what uh, what your color will look like should you choose that color as a spot color for any project that you're doing so how it looks after sublimation is exactly how it should look should you do some color matching uh, this would be your tangible copy that you would put on something after you've printed sublimate it walk over match the color and then take it over and enter those values as you need them uh, for particular colors to get precise color uh, this is Corel Draw X6 if you have any questions on how to create a color palette or even how to use a color palette refer to our documentation on PartnerNet or you can give us a call here at Condi we'll be happy to get you to where that document is or maybe even be able to talk you through it um, also look for other videos on Condi TV that pertain to color matching. My name is Vicki and as always thank you for your time.